Hey, don't freak out. I know how it's gonna sound. I'll explain. There is an ancient bacteria living inside of almost all of your cells. Moreover, you're so dependent on these ancient bacteria that if their amount decreases, that's the direct pathway to chronic diseases. Watch until the end to learn what to do about it. I'm speaking about mitochondria. That's an element of eukaryotic cell machinery, and it is called the powerhouse of the cell, since it generates most of cell's energy, as well as regulates cell death and metabolic processes. But how come it's a bacterium? The thing is, in late 1800s, scientists began noticing something very strange. These tiny structures inside cells behaved nothing like other normal cell parts. The idea that these are not our native cell elements, but rather autonomous living entities that invaded our cells, first was proposed in 1890s by scientist Richard Altman. But it was so radical at that time that he was mostly ridiculed. But soon, the evidence started to pile up. Turned out that mitochondria carried their own DNA, and they divided like bacteria. Plus, they even had sensitivity to some antibiotics that targeted bacterial machinery. Oh, and by the way, the DNA that is found in mitochondria is passed down only by females, and it stays almost unchanged for millennia. So, in some sort, it allows us to trace back the origin of modern humans, and it leads us to... Africa 200,000 years ago, but that's a whole different story. So by the late 1990s, this was no longer a wild hypothesis, but a proven fact that made its way into articles of Nature Journal and biology textbooks. So you are actually interested in supporting your ancient bacteria that lives in your cells. I mean, if you like having energy and not having diseases, here are a few ways on how to do it. Intermittent fasting and cold exposure increases the amount of mitochondria in your body. Some nutrients and plant compounds, for example, super popular polyphenols, optimize mitochondrial efficiency. And an unexpected one? Keeping your gut microbes happy, because as it turns out, they can directly communicate to their intracellular cousin. Stay healthy and subscribe for more.